Visual art tells a story just like literature and reading. When you read, you see the words on the page, but that's not what you're seeing in your head. It's always pictures. You read a book and you imagine the characters and you imagine the setting, and it can really transport you to some place. And I think that you can do the same thing with art, whether it's a portrait or like a comic book, you're still telling a story. What makes people beautiful and life beautiful is not the stuff that's like perfect, it's the stuff that we can all relate to. When I'm drawing portraiture or people, I really like to dive into like the details of the face first and then bring in like maybe fashion details or hair details that kind of tell the story of that person. I like the imperfections and the blemishes and details that kind of make up real people's faces and that kind of create a story in your mind when you look at them. I just really liked the kind of like raw energy that you get from lines and from the direction that they kind of force your eye around the page. I really like bold kind of graphic things and pattern and texture and I think line can really help create that in a piece. My favorite materials to use in my artwork are really any pen and ink, so uh, whether it's fine liner pens, markers like Prismacolor, I love just like a classic dip pen um, and India ink. Uh, you can get like a tiny like one hairline or like a huge like gloppy drippy ink line. I also like that you can very easily have accidents with them, which kind of prompts taking your piece in a new direction. <laughs> Putting some constraints on your creativity allows you to define like what the box is, like what are the constraints that I've put on myself, how am I going to explore those, and then also how am I going to break out and how am I going to interpret this differently, how am I going to put my own twist on it. Maybe everyone has the same prompt or the same assignment, but everyone internalizes it differently and explores it differently and people break the rules in different ways. I primarily show my work on the internet. My work is very personal, it's like really for me. It's really just about like getting what's in my head out on the page and if people do see it and like it, that's great, but it's not so important to me to have that reaction from people. I'm gonna do it regardless. The biggest thing I've learned about creativity and making art is I think you just have to draw all the time or paint all the time. I draw in the morning, I draw at night. I draw on my days off, I draw on my lunch break, like I, I'm always drawing. <laughs> and I think it's important to build creativity as a muscle and to use it like that and to like really hone your craft because the ability to make art when you don't feel like it is like what's gonna take you far. <laughs>